Hey everybody, it's Jane Johnston with the Briar Hill Group at Remax Closen, host of Vancouver Island Time and Community Talks. I'd like to welcome Begum Adamus today from BGM Landscape Design. Welcome, how are you? Great, Jane. Thank you for, for having me. No problem. So <laughs> tell me a bit about yourself. You're new to Victoria. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Istanbul, from Turkey. I have grown up there and moved to Victoria. One year ago. And what do you think of living in Victoria? Amazing. There is nowhere like Victoria, I guess. <laughs> so one of the hard things for transitioning, because I'm not from Victoria either, I'm from Toronto. I don't know if you know that. But uh, I moved out here 20 years ago, and it can be a bit hard to meet people. Did you find that? Or have you met lots of other business yeah. owners and entrepreneurs? Actually, I think I was lucky with it uh, because I met great people like you, for example. It was a chance. And every time, whoever I meet is always friendly. I mean, we are lucky. We have friends like family right now, even in one year. So it's a huge luck. But That's awesome. Yeah, business life is quite different. I'm trying to get used to it. This is it. So, so your background, you uh, work in Turkey, and what's what? The, what is your formal background? Actually, uh, I'm an uh, architect. First of all, I have studied architecture because we had a nursery. My father had a nursery. Uh, being a landscape designer, but my childhood wish and dream. So I have always concentrated on uh, design and landscape. After finishing university, I went to Germany in order to improve my skills in landscaping. I stayed there for a while. Then I came back, to, I went back to Turkey and I was lucky again. I could have a chance to work with Hilton Hotels and Marriott Hotels uh, about their landscaping. So it was a great chance to start with. So do you find like when people are looking to design their garden that they need to take into account what the uh, house looks like so that the house matches the garden. Like you're not gonna have a Japanese garden in a traditional English style house, right? Uh, yeah, actually I could be accepted as a quite modern designer, but I had gardens with roses actually. <laughs> uh, you can see it at my website and Facebook, but uh, I prefer elegant and simple gardens. Okay, and what about functional, like for eating or, um, you know, like a, an herb garden? Do you design gardens like that? Because I, I know food security right now is an issue. So people want to have a bit of practicality. So are you including that? Totally. Function is important because if it is functional, uh, you like your garden. You enjoy your garden. So it is a different uh, lifestyle. So we have all these herbs. We have all these wonderful corners that you can uh, practically use it. For example, a fire pit maybe, a zen corner that you can use your hammock there. So the garden, first of all, should be functional. Okay, and so are you talking about rooms in the garden, like outdoor rooms? So yeah. places where you would go and hang out and that would serve like this is the barbecue area, this is the hot tub area, like that? Totally. If I uh, start to design a garden, first of all, I want to meet the owner of the house because uh, I should understand their lifestyle. What we do, we add value to their life standards or outdoor living. Uh, we give them different ideas sometimes and it affects their future life of, uh, I mean, uh, style of life. So it is very important to design different parts that they can enjoy all together. Okay, so we have a PowerPoint presentation, which I thought we could go through. Is that all right with you? It would be great. <laughs> okay, so let's share the screen. Oops. Hold on. All right, so this is your company, right? BGM Design? Yes, for example, in this front page, you can see the scale of the gardens that we have worked with before. 
we can design a driveway, we can work with a housing project, a train station, a horse farm. I can see different kind of project that we work with. And these are all in different countries, first of all. Um, we have Italy, uh, London, England, Libya, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, all, all over the world. Where is the top right one with the big pool? Oh, it is in Istanbul. This is a new way of living. This is a compound chain and people want to have a, a different, a dream way of living there. There are wonderful uh, child camps there, a huge swimming pool and uh, barbecue areas, top of the gardens, open air cinemas, uh, dog care places, everything that you can imagine. Wow. Okay. All right. So tell us about this project here. This looks Asian to me. Yeah, actually, I like um, sculptural plants, uh, like bonsai plants. And in uh, example, for example, our customer wanted to have a nice entrance and really uh, different entrance. And I told, uh, I asked him if you would like to have a sculpture. Let's go with the plants. And this is an elegant uh, entrance, according to my opinion. But we have, uh, what we have added to this uh, area, we also played with the scale of the building and the entrance level. It was high, maybe. Right now, we could catch the human scale. Again. Right. So, um, did you bring in that tree for that area? Uh, it was from South Turkey, and uh, this uh, bonsai tree. Yeah, we could bring it. And the, it is so interesting with the olive trees, actually. Olives are the most adapted plants that you can ever use. I have used it in the 16th floor of a uh, high, uh, high building, and also I can use it in a garden. Okay, let's go to the next one. That's, that is very elegant looking. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I like uh, playing with the shapes actually. And I like, uh, I don't like seasonal plants. I like uh, long-term engagement with my gardens. And the colors should be uh, different from season to season. So you can see the color uh, differences according to their species. So it's interesting because the building is very heavy, but you've brought in a lot of roundness and kind of softened the look. Yeah, I tried that. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this is another perspective of the same garden. Yeah, I mean, we can see the combination of different plants together. They actually support each other. This is, for example, I could use just a bonsai plant there but it wouldn't be so grounded. And I uh, supported it with round boxes balls and uh, grasses. Okay, and you took out all the walls and put in green. Yes. Oh, there is, this wall is still there. The but green I always in front of it. try to hide the walls actually, because if you, wanna, uh, if you want to buy a house with a garden, you just need to enjoy the green. So if you keep them, keep the walls so uh, how to play, uh, plain or way, uh, it is not uh, the desirable position for us. Right. Okay. So is this the backyard or yeah. side yard? Yeah, it is a small area. It was an empty and unpleasant area. Of course, uh, always it is related with the budget. We try to keep the budget in the uh, reasonable way. I wish I could use different kinds of plants too, but still they love it. It is a home uh, office there in that window. So mm -hmm. enjoy it. So are these rectangular things in the middle, are they lights in the garden? Yes, light is one of the most important elements in the garden. It can change everything. And I see down at the bottom left, you have um, a light on the plant as well. Yes. Uh, actually, the infrastructure for the garden is the most important thing uh, uh, with design. We, uh, we plan drainage, we plan irrigation, and also we plan a lighting system. If you don't support your garden with lighting, 
it will uh, it can't shine and it can't show itself in a perfect way. Even in my balcony pots, I always use photocell lamps. Mm. Uh, when I look at in the evening to outdoor, I feel it a little bit warm effect. Yeah. Okay, and this is the uh, other version of the front yard. So yeah, you this is the same. Uh, we are creating uh, patterns. We are creating area uh, plant pools. You can see how we create them. Of course, it is the beginning step of the garden. It looks way better right now. It was the first week, I guess, these photos. Okay. All right. So this is what you're using, or and your um, roll. You're rolling out the ground to make it flatter. Yes, this is while they are working actually and. Hard landscaping is also an important tool to emphasize the green areas and also you can shape with hard landscaping. This is how we do it actually. And when I use uh, trees, I always uh, try to use older trees because time is important. We should buy the time with the plantation. Yeah, my mom was a big fan of putting in um, new trees and anywhere we lived. Yeah, this is also, I had one to Manolia tree when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so when you're um, putting in the pathways, are you looking for linear or do you, do you follow where people are naturally going to walk? Actually, I like curvilinear, uh, curvilinear lines mostly because I think the nature has curvi curvilinear lines itself. But in that project, they uh, especially wanted to have linear lines. As I mentioned before, the customer is the most important issue for us. How they like it, I try to find an in-between way between my design and their wishes because they will enjoy it. And uh, they wanted to have a linear uh, pathway here and they had a kit, uh, so they want to create an a uh, vegetable garden and playground area on the left hand side this is where we uh, done it yeah okay this is nice actually it has a better uh, photo but uh, uh, still you can see it in facebook page because uh, the magazine took and uh, decor magazine took the picture of this garden you will like it more this is preparation time insulation time so it is not perfectly okay, but still it gives the idea that we wish. Right. Okay. Terrace. Oh, I saw pictures of this on your Facebook page recently. Yeah, we still uh, we still work on it, actually. She just needs some indoor plantation and outdoor chaiselongs and other furniture type. Uh, she was a busy lady and she wanted to buy time for herself and her family, actually. She come and asked me, I want my terrace like a garden. And we try to make it. And this is when we finish it. And she is so happy. She sent uh, photographs when they were enjoying the, uh, the terrace, actually. And I feel really happy when I get that kind of results and responses. Um. This is interesting to me because you chose natural wood up there, which I think really warms up the area. So natural everything is uh, important for me. I don't like artificial plantation. I don't like uh, artificial materials, but sometimes you need. But as I, I agree with you, as you can see, it gives an incredible feeling there. Yeah. So, oh, interesting. So you use this to block out part of the view, the bamboo. Yes, because this high scrapers, uh, she didn't like to see this building uh, crowd there. This is her kitchen area. So we decided to put these bamboos. They will, uh, we haven't uh, finished trimming them, but uh, we tried to create this privacy. And here you can see the foreground, background relationship of the terrace. Right. Background. I've recommended this for other people as well. It makes a big difference. Yes. I mean, if you can use also pots in the foreground, it gives incredible quality to your environment. And as a background, 
always a different color gives a really a deepness. You can feel the deepness of the guard, uh, terrace right now. Right. So you, you're using color, texture, and shape. Yes, also three dimension. This is pretty. Yeah, before and after. I mean, both can be used, but I enjoy when I look at it and I know they enjoy it too. It is great. So do you, uh, I guess you have to become familiar with um, when you're working in different countries of what vegetation grows well or not, right? Totally. Actually, I study. Uh, there are <clears throat> some native plants in Victoria, but mainly it is so interesting. Our climate zone is quite similar. So I am very lucky uh, about this subject. I have three gardens right now in Victoria. I have designed three gardens. One is an urban uh, development project in North Coalition. I have a, a horse farm uh, design right now. It is so interesting. I feel like home. most of the plants are similar, but we have deers here. In Turkey, I don't have deers. So <laughs> <laughs> I should be careful with it, but the rest is easy. Okay, nature at your business. So you you warmed up the look of this. Uh, is it is it a restaurant or something? Actually, this is again preparation time. This is that was an old bank building, and they wanted to open it a cafe here. And uh, I have some friends. Sometimes they send me photos. It is a really wonderful area right now. The only thing I have used Arnavut Arnavut style shedding in that area because of some rules they couldn't put it but still they enjoy this area that was a driveway today get out really yes <laughs> you will wow. see in the next picture i guess wow yeah. <laughs> that was a driveway <laughs> that's amazing so, so uh, one of the things i found here actually more with back east with clay pots is you have to be careful because the water expanding and contracting on the pot so yeah. any issues with that actually uh, for example in kazakhstan you can use clay pots because there is a huge difference between night and day uh, these are really important and uh, how they uh, also you can see the pattern of the water uh, sometimes, but uh, it depends. Sometimes we enjoy this kind of patterns. I always like natural material, but here, because it's a commercial area, it's a coffee, so we haven't used uh, too much. We try to make an imbalance. Uh, with clay, we try to give this warm effect, but in the longer area, we used uh, tea bag materials. Okay. Wow, <coughs> you add the greenery going up. Yeah, I mean, try to create a nice place to drink a coffee. <laughs> well, it looks great. And so so you're trying to break up again the wall and soften the look. Yeah, these are, of course, first attempts. It will be perfect uh, by now, I hope. Yeah. Another, the same cafe. Yes. These are general. Um, right now, this is an embassy, uh, embassy building uh, in Ankara. On the left-hand side, you can see the older view. It was quite old. The problem with the buildings, they are aging. And when they age, the garden is aging too. If they, uh, if they didn't have a nice maintenance during this period, garden is also issue to recover. So we made a graphical uh, appearance, uh, a, gar uh, a garden look in that building. Okay. And this is the end product? Uh, actually, it looks better right now. These are all the photos that I have taken, unfortunately. Next time, I will try to be more professional with the photos. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, and this is the interior. Yeah, interior, I try to create, for example, reading and waiting area for the people. Uh, ambassador buildings are normally a boring places. Uh, <laughs> I try to, uh, this is, uh, I try to also put my character everywhere. I think uh, the plant is something can change your life. 
if you can use it in the right way. So am I seeing trees in the hallway? Yes. Uh, Nine or 12 trees or whatever uh, there? Yes, actually, we try to uh, we try to combine outdoor spaces and indoor spaces with the trees most of, uh, with, with plants most of the time. And also this background foreground relation creates a uh, secondary dimension. Uh, as you can see, we use uh, plants in order to create scale leveling or scale balance. I always try to do this. Okay, awesome. The Hilton, woohoo! Yeah. A lot of dead plants there. Actually, that is an old Hilton, and they, we didn't have too many chance to change most of the things. But whatever I do, I try to use an art object uh, in the entrance. We should combine art and garden, I think. And you can see the on the left hand side how was it, and we try to give a little bit uh, warm effect actually with the plants. Yeah. Nice. So if, what kind of material do you have for the decking underneath the tables? Uh, here we use wood because uh, this this uh, hilltop in, in the middle of the town, uh, downtown. So uh, the building itself is really old. So we try to try to create uh, cozy areas. And wood is an incredible uh, material you feel really warm if you sit on it or if you feel around it around you so with lighting sitting and it is not the finished products we have also some uh, foreigner pots in order to make it a little bit more and so you put these plants between the seating area and the street yes yeah we try to create a uh, covered area private area and entrances are always important. I try to put one or two pots in order to emphasize the entrance, because if you feel the plant when you enter, you will continue with this feeling. And the pots, uh, I use them as an architectural material. Right. It's funny, I had a condo for sale and um, nobody would look at it until we uh, staged the outside like this. It makes such a difference. Uh, I can imagine because people buy their dreams. If you can't create a dream for themselves, for them, it wouldn't be a dream house for them. So it is important. Driveways here is important, I guess. We right. Should, we should concentrate on that. This is the interior decoration. Uh, how was it? And how we warmed it up with plants. Did you, okay, do you only do the plants or are you also doing the furniture too? Actually, if I don't need to do furniture, I don't. Of course, because of my background, I can. But uh, I try to avoid it because I just want to concentrate on plantation. But I did sometimes, especially terraces, these restaurant areas. They took my ideas, but uh, I'm not keen on doing that. Okay. What do we have here? Yeah, these are the end products. Uh, for example, this is an indoor place. Uh, it has wonderful YouTube videos in our web page and also Facebook. But uh, this is again installation time. And uh, we combine nature uh, with... Uh, unfortunately, I had to use artificial plants here because we had some uh, really limited depth. But I combined them with the real huge plants and art objects. I really like this area. Uh, in videos, it has better view, actually. But uh, whoever comes to this uh, holding building, they say there is something different that with music and plantation. I like here. So I have a question for you. This plant here in the middle with like uh, the circles, uh, the one on the top right, okay. how how uh, how do you find them? Actually, they have. Uh, I have bought them directly from Holland. In one day, I've uh, <laughs> I've flown there and I bought them because my uh, this the owner of this high building was also there. Uh, he was also there. We bought them from Holland, but uh, it is mainly we buy plants if we don't have enough uh, 
uh, variety in Turkey or somewhere else. Italy is perfect for outdoor, for indoor, uh, Holland is the best place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cyprus, nice. Cyprus is my favorite chain. Cyprus, lavender, and I mean, olive trees are my, I, I'm a Mediterranean girl, so it is so important for me. <laughs> and you can feel it. C can you feel the elegance of the entrance? That is a plant actually. Uh, this is a shoe plant and they couldn't use the garden. It was swarm. It was full of water when we had started. And okay. he asked me uh, if there's a possibility that we can live here and we can enjoy the garden. I said, yes. Then we turned the area to a garden. It's really nice garden. I like it too. You know what I like about it is you don't have all the trees together that they're spread out and there's a mixture of heights yes this is a three-dimensional way of approaching a design jane and you notice it thank you uh, it is the key in my designs actually i use three dimension as a tool because uh, if they are all in the same height or they are too much next to each other you can't enjoy the uniqueness of the plant but you can feel them right now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for noticing that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your water feature. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sometimes uh, if I uh, create an area, I like people uh, experience it. For example, it is uh, walking steps through the garden. They have a wonderful area to sit. It's a Mediterranean area again with all the trees and they can walk through the water in order to reach their garden. It's a great experience. They can feel it. Okay. And what is this? This looks like a, a meeting place in the garden. Yes, he created uh, these bamboos, acai trees, and other kind of trees. They are mainly Asian type of plants. Uh, there are also gravels you can see deeply right now. Uh, we have created a combination between relaxation area and Zen garden. And there were also uh, bird caves there, but uh, they, there weren't birds inside. I just put plants inside. So there is an irony between that. I love birds outside. <laughs> and we put some hoparlors in between the bamboos. They can hear the bird voices around them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, thank you. Um, this garden, uh, it is a, you can go as much as you like. At, at, actually, that was a masculine building, the, uh, the one before. Hold and on. This one? That one. That was a linear garden. Uh, with Cypress, I, uh, uh, I, I tried to create the linear lines too. Because if you have horizontal lines, you should emphasize them, combine them with the linear, uh, linear uh, lines. This is what I have done here. I didn't touch yeah. nature because nature is wonderful by itself. Right. Right. This and are those, um, what are these plants at the bottom? They're... Um... Formium. They are formium. Actually, this kind of graphical plants give a different uh, feeling. Uh, a group of plants like this create a different uh, feeling in the garden. Yeah, they break up the line. Totally. I couldn't find words. Thank you. I see what you mean. So you have the cypress up, and then you have the other lines from the pool and the stairs horizontal. Yes. This is a harmony. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is that was an empty area when we have started, and uh, this is an approach to see a beach. Actually, they have a deck at the beach, so I thought that we should create a corridor with palms and this, uh, exotic plants. I think we could make it. They like it. Who lives there? It looks like a resort. It is. It's a holiday. Uh, it is. Uh, yeah, it is almost resort. It's a. Uh, it's a combination of. Holiday houses. They own it and in summer they go there, but 
uh, I tried to create this resort effect. So did you put in that um, wooden pathway down the middle or was that there before? Oh, uh, actually, uh, I, I designed all these paths and also the beach areas. There are wonderful wooden bars there uh, and uh, true bars. We have olive trees, lighted olive trees in the night. Because if you design a garden, you should uh, create a uh, together living scenario. This is a, a holiday houses area, so we should create a scenario too and uh, how they will approach the beach, how they will use in the nighttime, daytime. We design all these details through a scenario. Well, I can see somebody having a wedding there, Begum. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I have noticed that. Who's that? <laughs> I will search. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the season, but I love the elegance of art, actually. The curvy, curvilinear lines yeah. together, steps. Uh, there should be water because it is winter, there is no water. But um, I love visiting the construction size be uh, before I finish it. And this right. is almost the end. Whoops. Sorry. No. Oh, that was a special project. You can't feel it, but this project was a combination of Star Wars and middle. Uh, age, uh, middle, uh, I mean, we had sculptures like 100 year old. Yeah. Uh, he was a really, uh, I mean, known person. He had two, this is the office building. The other one was a uh, home uh, area. And we, we have fire pits, uh, swings here, a bar and uh, Star Wars object inside these old trees, uh, olive trees went to 16th floor high and it was a really exciting project. Is this, this, a, this is a different building? Yeah, this is a housing area. Uh, people buy houses in the housing area because they dream about a together living. So. Uh, in order to contribute to commun uh, community, uh, we should create uh, some common places that they can enjoy together. And the geometry is important. Yeah, I can see. I've seen places like this in Victoria in the uh, Vic West area. Yeah, I have. I'm, I should go there. I haven't seen it actually. I didn't even... We need to introduce you to some people. So this reminds me of Toronto. This is what Toronto is like in the summer. Where is this? Oh, really? It is actually it is the same uh, project. In the corner, in the entrance, we used geometry and more street lines, rocks, and here we created a lived area. You can feel this coziness. The, uh, the, uh, the trees cover you when you walk through, and uh, they also create privacy between the gardens. It is the same project in Istanbul. Okay. Oops. Is this a before and after? No, this is a sketch actually. Uh, there is a new trend chain. It is also, it should be also told actually. Unfortunately, because of new and fast living, People uh, in Victoria, we are lucky right now, but in other parts of the world, they try to create their own uh, suburb areas by themselves with security and all the facilities inside. This is one of the sketches of that kind of project, actually. We call it gated community. Pardon me? We call it a gated community. Yes. They have a gate to get in. Uh, totally, it is uh, like this, actually. I have never seen it. We are really lucky here, but in Istanbul or in, I don't know, in Astana or in Dubai, you have that kind of projects, even if I start in Milan or two. Okay. Pretty. Thank you. <laughs> I have a question, though. So there's a development like this in downtown Victoria um, called Shutters. But I just wonder about having the vegetation on the side of the building like that. Doesn't it affect the building? 
actually it uh, increased the how do you say um actually i try to use these green walls and the terraces after this covid covid cases we understood the importance of the terraces and also balconies right and we can create also greenery area in the design uh with the architects it can be something uh, maintained by itself if you put them later on still you can use it and put it but it, they need extra effort but uh, it would be a different project than others and i'm sure it's the value would be different right i can hear them all clanging their pots and pans now oh so this is a, a different this is this is a different project. There are lots of projects like this. We have created so many different projects like this. For example, there is a water feature in between. Uh, it combines uh, all the different facilities together. There are get-together areas, there are kids play areas, there are some uh, apartment units with water feature, without water. And they're open air, uh, again, cinemas here, movie places. And uh, we create a living because after they come home, after six o'clock or seven, maybe, uh, they don't have time to go out. If you can create a life with a scenario in itself, it is valuable for a family too. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I can just see the baby crawling into the water, though. <laughs> you can see every detail. <laughs> I'm impressed. And a basketball court. Nice. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, this is all. <laughs> all right. So. Um, that was really interesting. You've done a lot of, I've just made a list of people who I think you should meet. <laughs> I will, I will show your video around. I'm just looking here. There's one comment. Squires Ferguson and Squires Ferguson says, love those hints of fuchsia in your design. Thank you very much. Do you know her and Squires Fer Ferguson? Yeah, you guys would That's do. She's a special person. <laughs> okay, so if people want to get in touch with you, who is your ideal client? What kind of people are you looking for? Actually, uh, I like people who really want to have something different. It can, uh, as I mentioned to you, it can be small balcony, it can be a driveway, and it can be a huge development project. It is not a problem. We have even designed marine marine projects. I have that kind of station, train station, but uh, people should have a uh, will actually to change their environment. And I can, I'm excited about it, but any person who has a green area would be a project. Okay. <laughs> All right, so if you wanna reach Begum, you can. Um, her number is a Victoria number, 236-882-3051 or you can reach her at info at bgmtasarim.com. And she is also on Facebook if you wanna reach her there. And uh, best way to get in touch with you is which way? Facebook? Uh, Facebook could be, and my telephone is also there, and Facebook would be easier. They can also see the examples too. Okay, awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you very much for having me, Jane. It was enjoyable. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So we're going to actually, this is going to be our second last show. Our last show is going to be next Tuesday. We're going to be talking with our co-parenting legal special team about uh, how things are going to be handled during the summer with parenting with kids. And then we're going to take a break. And if uh, we're back in September, with COVID-19, we will be starting up again. So if, if you're in, interested in the meantime, just message me and we'll plan for you to be on the show in the near future. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, have a great day.